my name is Muhammad Saimun Sahariyar from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I am an electrical engineer and also a student working in a power plant. I have a question. If I stand up from sitting position as my boss or teacher enters the room for showing him respect, is it a sin according to Islam? Then what to do if it is haram? Regarding is it permissible to stand up for your boss or teacher when he enters? Is it haram? Before we dwell into the main question, let us understand that it's standing up for someone. When someone comes, is it, is it permitted? And there are various hadith and each hadith depending upon the circumstances. There are various hadith which shows it is impermissible. For example, the Prophet peace be upon him said, it's in Imam Ahmad, hadith of uh, Sunan Abu Dawud as well as of Nisai, it's a say hadith that the Prophet said that if a person who wants others to stand up for him, he books a seat in the hell. That means a person who desires that other people should stand up for him, he books for him a seat in the hell. And the Prophet once, when he comes out and leans on a stick, and when the companions stand up, he says that, why are you behaving like the non-Arabs who adulate or venerate a person? So the Prophet got angry when they stood up for him. And, and once when the Prophet was leading the Salah, he was not feeling well. So he was sitting and leading the Salah. And when the Sahabas behind him, when they stood, he indicated to them that sit down. That means when he is sitting, he does not like the other people to stand up. So all these hadith show the impermissibility of standing. But there are other hadith which show otherwise. There are hadith of the Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, who said that I have not seen anyone as resembling close to the Prophet of Allah like his daughter Fatima and whenever Fatima anha, when she came the Prophet stood for her and made her sit where he was sitting similarly when the Prophet went to meet Fatima may Allah be peace with her she stood up for the Prophet and she made him sit where she was sitting so here it shows it is mustahab it is sunnah to stand for the person who you love maybe a family member and then there is a hadith also, that when the Bune Quraida, when Banu Quraida, when Saad bin Allah be peace with him, was coming to give the judgment, he came on a donkey and the Prophet told the people of Banu Quraida that stand up, your leader has come. So here the Prophet commands them, tells them to, to stand up. Here it shows it is preferred, it's encouraged to stand when your leader comes. And there are hadith. So these hadith, the second and third hadith come to know that here if you love someone or you revere someone, maybe a family member standing is good or see your leader coming, there's no problem. So depending upon the situation, so based on this, there are various rulings and Sheikh Islam ibn Taymiyyah has written very well that depending upon the niya and the situation, the opinion or the verdict will change. Number one, if you are standing up for someone who is a family member, like your parents, because you love them, because you respect them, or your children, it is encouraged, it is mustahab, it is sunnah. Or, like we see in the hadith that the Prophet stood up for Fatima, may Allah believe with her, and she stood up for the Prophet. It's encouraged, it's mustahab. There may be a situation where you are standing up for a leader who you respect in the hadith of the Prophet told when Saad may Allah be peace with him came when he came to the people of Banu Qareda he told them to stand up so if someone who is knowledgeable or someone who is leader or someone who is approaching for respect if you stand it is encouraged it is mustahab depending upon the situation but in all these situations, these people don't desire that someone should stand for them. It's out of love 
that you're standing for your parents, for your children, out of respect you're standing, it's different. Or if someone is coming into your home and you're welcoming them, and when you stand to welcome them or shake hands with them, it is permissible to stand up. In this situation, the person coming is standing and you're standing up to receive him, it's permitted. And it's common in the Arab culture when you go to the Gulf countries and, and if there's a majlis, if some guest comes, everyone stands up. And the guest shakes hands with everyone one by one. So if you're standing to welcome him and shake hands with him, it is permitted. There's no problem. Now coming to a situation where someone desires that they should stand up when he comes, this is not permitted. And the Prophet said, he will be in the hell. A person who desires that someone stands up for him. Or, like we find at the times of the Persian kings, that they were sitting and the others were standing. So if someone is sitting, and the other people stand out of respect while he's sitting, this is not permitted. And that is the reason when the Prophet was leading Salah, he was not feeling well, he was sitting and reading, he told the other people, the Sabas who were praying behind him, in congregation, he indicated to them, sit down. That means we should not behave like those people, the kings of Persia, who are venerated. So in such situation, now coming to the basic question, that when a teacher or a boss comes, again, if the boss or the teacher wants that you should stand up when they come, then you standing up for them is not permitted. But if you love your teacher because of the knowledge he has and, and the ilm he has and you stand up just to welcome him and you shake hands etc or wish him, this is permitted. It's no problem. So depending upon the intention and depending upon the situation, it is the verdict changes. Hope that answers the question.